Welcome back to another Global Company Mods tutorial with me, Zebra. So today we're going to look at the potato washer and the potato sorter and they're, they're very simple to use actually they're very simple to use and you can make a fair bit of money from doing this if you're prepared to put the time in spuds are a lengthy process to get out of the ground but if you're prepared to put the time in then uh, it, it could be worth it so when you come up to the steps you get your your little interface at the bottom on the right there you press R and you can come in and you look at your overview on the mod hub itself it says that it produces 30,000 per hour but here it actually says that it does 15,000 litres per hour so we're going to obviously this is what to go off of it could be different because they've done an update and then everything's changed in the update but this is what it is so we're going to go from this. I've already put some spuds in there. So we've got 17% already. And we're going to put some more in in a second. We've got no water in yet. And basically what this says is it just washes your potatoes. But from washing your potatoes, just doing them, just washing them, you can get 40% more money for them. And that is just from washing them. So if we come out... Um, we go in to here, global company, and you'll see there's the potato washer. It's £18,000. It's not actually a lot of money either. And neither is the potato sorter. That's £2,800. Um, technically, you could possibly run two sorters to one washer, I think. But... We'll, when we look at the sorter, we'll, we'll, we'll double check that. So it is a placeable, uh, and it goes where you put it, and that is that. It won't disappear unless you sell it. Uh, and we need to put some more spuds in there, and we need to put some more water, well, some water in there. So we're having a messy day today. You just load up your bucket. I'm on the keyboard again today. If we get more experience with it, we'll get better at it, won't we? Isn't that how it works? We just load it up. Like that. Quite simple. To be fair, we could be here all day. I think we'll leave that there doing that. We'll grab our baby Massey. She's got 7,300 litres of water. Just come up to it. It prompts you. Fill it up and then you can see it all starts working then. Once the water goes in. You see that we've got the, the tumbler there that the potatoes go through and then they collect here once they're clean. 
and then they should come up the conveyor belt and go into the trailer once they're ready to go. So hopefully that is enough of what we need there. So let's have a quick look. Well, we've got more water than potatoes, so we're good there. So we'll just speed up time, get the process going. There we go. Excellent. So we now have 7,910 litres of potatoes. And you press R. So we now have 7,909 litres of potatoes, 52% of the capacity of the washer. We come over to our tractor and we want a filler. So there we go. But you could uh, you could stick your bucket underneath I suppose and do it that way. Then what you need to do is you need to have a store, I would imagine, would be the best thing to do. You get yourself a store. We're just going to tip them here. And we're going to get into our loader. load up with the spuds and then we'll go through the sorter before we start using it. I wonder if we could put it through the washer again and make them super clean. I don't think those washers do much good anyway. It's still got cleaner when you buy them from the shop, won't it? Let's turn it, turn it big enough. There we go. Okay, so the sorter. Now we've already seen the price of it. It's uh, 2,800 pounds. And there's our overview. So you stand here. Now this, you put your washed potatoes in it takes 4,000 litres, its output is 4,000 litres, um, but it also puts out 2,000 litres of pig food. And basically what it does is 92% goes into premium potatoes, which is what comes out of the sorter, and the other 8% goes into pig feed. So you get a pig feed spawn here and then it fills up with the scraps the little ones and things like that for pig feed and then this fills up and then you empty it with your bucket from your loader so we'll just fill it up Quite tricky to get it all lined up in the right place, but once you're there, you're there. I suppose what you might be able to no, I don't think it would work, would it? Because you need to be able to trigger it. I was going to say you could put it under the conveyor belt, but that wouldn't work. So we need to bring this round. So you need 
to start it down here and you can stop it when you like I thought it was on auto start but it doesn't seem to work like that so that is sorting our spuds now let's speed up time you can watch it all so the wash spuds are going down get the pig food being generated and then we are there and then so we got a pig food which we can spawn I don't know if it will let us that small amount I don't think it will No, it won't. So you just pull your your loader up to the front there. Press R she starts spinning and there we have premium potatoes now that it's actually given us 91% but we'll give it a, a percentage here or there so once you've got your premium potatoes thank you for saving very kind um, you come and you find where you can sell them um, basically you can sell them at any any potato sell point and you come up here these are your extras so that is washed we've got a little watermark next to it and that is your premium so let's have a look and see what normal spuds are selling for normal spuds uh, the grain elevator east is 198 going up grain mill 340 339 and port 438 train station 296 train station 354 that's going down there 550 that you can see it's a vast difference in price 921-774-836 so yeah it is more than doubled in some instances so if you're prepared to do it and in all fairness it's actually it's actually pretty good because that didn't you know we sped up time so you you could just fill it up walk away carry on with your day's job and then hey presto it wouldn't take very long to get your money back because the uh, the equipment isn't particularly expensive anyway and then if you wanted to you could get some of those potato boxes and store your premium potatoes in those lovely boxes and uh, wait until the price is right you can also see the difference major difference between them all so we got dirty spuds clean spuds sorted spuds don't know not much difference there really a bit whiter maybe anyway that is the potato washer and the potato sorter thanks for watching everybody Stay safe and may the weather be with you.